I am that which whispers, which carries, which connects. This thread of life, adrift, untethered. It must be woven back into the fabric of the world. Remember. Remember who you are. Now go. Return to the land. To your destiny. Cry out. Call out your name. Where... where am I? Is this, this what, what the crystal, crystal wished to show us? Without, Without a doubt, doubt, my lady. Where, where the, the light, light led, there he lay. Are those voices? But whose? Twould seem he is a young man of the sea. This is all a little unexpected, I must say. But I trust you, Sir Sloane, and I trust the light of the crystal. He may not seem much, my lady, but appearances can be deceiving. In any case, he is in need of urgent treatment. Let us return to town with all haste. We will talk more of what this means at a later juncture. I can't believe I survived. <sighs> huh? Where... where am I? You are in Halcyonia, in an inn. Don't be alarmed, you are quite safe. Now that you appear to be capable of speaking, Perhaps you could tell me a little about yourself. Me? Uh, sure, I mean, <laughs> I'm just a regular sailor, I guess. My ship got hit by this huge wave, and I was swept overboard. I... I don't 
remember anything after that. Guess I must have drifted here on the tide. I see. Then perhaps it was the crystal's will after all. Huh? What do you mean? Ah, our young seafarer has awoken at last. Verily, thy plight hath troubled us greatly, friend. We had feared the very worst. This is Sir Sloane, the royal man-at-arms. The... what? Come, my lady. We must make haste. It will not do to keep King Vernon waiting. Indeed not. We will leave right away. Wait, you're going to meet a king? Who exactly are you? Gloria of Musa, at your service. Princess Gloria of Musa, if you prefer my proper title. Although, since my kingdom was destroyed, I've been unsure whether I'm worthy of it any longer. You're a princess. I shall explain everything in due course. For now, you would do well to rest a while longer. Uh, sure. Okay. Feeling better now, are you? Uh, yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here. Don't mention it. It's only right to help people out when they're in need. Well, thanks all the same. So this place is called Halcyonia, right? Can't say I've ever heard of it. W where exactly are we? Ah, oh, I didn't think you were from around here. All right, let me show you on a map. Uh, here we are. What the? This map doesn't make any sense. Where the heck am I? I heard you met with something of a calamity. Yeah, I guess you could say that. My ship was hit by a giant wave. Must have been a freak storm or something. Oh, dear. Yes, we've been hearing a lot about enormous waves and the like lately. We're all right here in the city, but I heard they wreaked havoc down on the coast. That doesn't sound good. Maybe I should go check it out. See if I can figure out what happened to me. Well, the seaside's not far south of here. Follow the road out of town and you'll be there in a jiffy. Tell you what, why don't you take the map with you in case you get lost? Really? Thanks.
Princess Gloria, thank you for joining us. I think you may have some inkling of why I have summoned you here. It concerns the future of the Musen royal line. It has been three years now since you came here to our kingdom, and while I can only imagine your pain at having lost your realm under such tragic circumstances, there comes a time when one must turn from the past and begin to look forward. I wonder if you might consider making your stay here a more long-term arrangement. Prime Minister Horton has convinced me that in finding you a suitable match, we might sooner bring about the restoration of your kingdom. Has he indeed? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, with King Vernon's permission, I have instructed my heralds to canvas potential suitors for you, Princess Gloria. Muse's unfortunate end need not mean the end of its illustrious line, after all. I see. And have you any thoughts on the matter, Sir Sloane? The honorable gentleman's line of reasoning is not without merit. Such an arrangement would indeed benefit Musa in the long term. Ah, wise words, Sir Sloane. Your reputation as both a warrior and a thinker is well deserved, I see. Yet I would not dream to speak for Her Highness, of course. Tis she and she alone who must decide. King Vernon, your concern for my well-being is, as ever, far more than I deserve. Alas, I have a sacred duty to perform before I can even begin to consider such worldly affairs. This being so, I am afraid I have no choice but to respectfully decline your suggestion. What? How dare you treat my... I mean, King Vernon's kind offices with such disdain? Why, a match has been all but agreed already. Do you wish His Majesty to look a fool? That will be quite enough, Horton. We have no right to expect anything of Princess Gloria beyond her kindness in hearing us out. We are friends and allies of long standing, and her wishes will be respected. If it is not impolite to ask, Your Highness, what is this sacred duty of which you speak? The time has come for me to recover my kingdom's greatest treasures, the Four Crystals. <sighs> Fortunately, thanks to Sir Sloane, the Wind Crystal is safely in my possession already, but the whereabouts of the others remain unknown. And that does not bode well. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The crystal's power exceeds the hand of man, and if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity and blight upon the land. I learned those lines as soon as I could talk. And if I understand them correctly, the troubled seas may be merely the first among many calamities to come. It is my duty, no, my destiny, as Princess of Musa to do all that I can to prevent further misfortune befalling our world. And I shall fulfill it. Very well. I understand completely. Princess Gloria, you must go. You must fulfill your destiny. Thank you, King Vernon. Your understanding in the matter is much appreciated. Duh.
It's terrible, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I heard it was bad, but... This is something else. You should have seen the size of the waves. They smashed absolutely everything to pe- <gasps> A monster! Quickly! Get out of here! Watch out, guys. Guess it's my turn. Pow! I didn't see you standing there. How many times have I told you? Look before you cast. You can't just jump in spells blazing. And how many times have I told you? I'm a big picture guy. He's all right, isn't he? Don't sweat the details. Someone has to when you're going around nearly frazzling people. Are you all right? Uh... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but uh, who are you exactly? Just a couple of concerned passers-by. This guy's a wandering scholar, and I'm the one he hired to try and keep him out of trouble. The name's Adele. Oh, and I'm Elvis. <sighs> anyway, enough chit-chat. We've got a battle to finish. Try not to incinerate anyone, okay, Elvis? Aye, aye. <laughs> I'll do my best. Here I go! This he does it! Wait to take a step back! Huh. Ah! 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 
Okay, then. Yeah! Well, what's next, I wonder? Guess it's my turn. Yeah! You guys are good at this. And in a scrap, aren't you, laddie? That was some tasty brawling. It really was. You were definitely more help than a certain so-called scholar I could mention. Oh, aye. Less of that. I pulled my weight fair and square. Isn't that right, pal? Huh? Oh, um... Yeah, definitely. Oh, you're only saying that because he put you on the spot. It's all right, you know. You can tell us what you really think. Besides, if you're nice to this one, it'll only go to his head. <laughs> and what would be so wrong with that, eh? Go on, son. Praise away. I could do with a wee boost to the old self-esteem. Believe me, that's the last thing he needs. Uh, anyway, thanks for helping me out back there. Uh, miss. Hey, less of that. It's just plain Adele, okay? Aye, we don't stand much in ceremony as to. What are you doing scrapping with monsters anyway? You don't look like your average warrior, I must say. Oh. I was just helping out an old lady who was in trouble. Ah, have a go hero, eh? Very noble. I reckon you and me are going to get along just fine. Uh, which is lucky, because I'm about to take you back to town and treat you to a wee drink. Oh, really? <laughs> are you sure? Am I sure? <laughs> After a bonding experience like that, I insist on it. Well, in that case... All right. That's the spirit. Ho <laughs> ho! Then away to the tavern we go. I've worked up a right old thirst. Oh, but before I forget, have you seen one of these about the place? What is it? It's called an asterisk. Us two are on a journey collecting them, which is how we ended up happening across you. But we're not friends or anything. I'm only here because he hired me. Ah, guy, details. Anyway, we heard there was someone around these parts in possession of one of these wee beauties, so I was wondering if you might know something? No. Sorry, guys. I'm not from around here. Matter of fact, I'm not even here by choice. I got shipwrecked and just kind of washed up nearby. A shipwreck? Talk about a calamity. Yeah, I guess. But hey, I'm still alive, and I wasn't too badly hurt, so... Aye, sounds like you're plenty to be thankful for. Not least of all meeting the two of us. Now, shall we go and celebrate or what? That bar won't prop itself up. <laughs> Your Highness, a wandering merchant brings most worrisome tidings. The desert kingdom of Savalon is beset by a sudden abundance of water. So much so that full half the capital has been submerged. A deluge in the desert, milady. Tis unheard of. I would fain hazard a guess that this is a crystal's doing. Savalon? The kingdom is a muse and ally of long standing, and King Orion is a fine man. I am sure he would be happy to tell us more about what has been happening. We should head there right away. One moment, milady. Lurk not in the shadows, rogues. Show yourselves. Very impressive, Sir Sloane. 
The greatest swordsman in the land is still as sharp as ever, it seems. Thou knowest me. Then thee and thy companion are no mere sneak thieves, it would seem. Perhaps thou might do me the kindness of an introduction. Well, since you asked so nicely, my sharp-eyed friend, I am Selena. Yeah, and I'm Dag. We will come straight to the point, yes? Princess Gloria, we want the wind crystal. Please make this easy for everyone and hand it over. W what Come now, do as we say and no one will have to get hurt. Never mind all the fancy talk, Selena. Let's just bash him and take the bloody thing. The old codger's already got one foot in the grave. We'll be done with him in no time. Thou thinkest me too old to school thee, boy. There is life in this old dog yet. <laughs> Ooh, Gramps has got a temper on him. Well, rage all you like, mate. You don't stand a chance against me. Is that an asterisk? Too right it is. Bet you wish you'd just given us the crystal now, don't ya? Bring it, old man. What? Was it you? Do the despoilers of Musa stand before me? Musa? What are you all about? Hmm. Mayhap you are mere mercenaries. In which case, whose coin have purchased thy services? Hmm. I'll show ya. Oh no. Game's up, Grandad. Put the sword down, or the kid gets it. S stop it! L -l Let me go! Sir Sloan, you must do as he says. What kind of monster takes a child hostage? Whatever! It worked, didn't it? All's fair dinkum in love and war. Now shut your whinging and hand over the crystal. Please stop it! I do not have the crystal. Eh? You have hidden it somewhere. Very well. Then we will just have to take you instead. Never! You will let the child go free? Then I will do as you say. Princess Gloria! Hostage trade, eh? Hmm. Not a bad idea. And I'd probably go along with it too if Greybeard here hadn't rubbed me up the wrong way. <gasps> Sir Sloane! Fear not, Your Highness. It will take a mightier blow than this to fell me. Will it now? Well, there's a coincidence. Because that's exactly what I was about to give you. Ready or not? Your Highness! I have already agreed to come with you. There is no need for further bloodshed. Oh, yeah? Think you can tell me what to do, do ya? You ain't the princess of me, girly. All right, Dag. You have had your fun. But... Ah. She was telling the truth. She does not have the wind crystal. Now, do as we promised and release the child. You can walk, yes? You must fetch the wind crystal and bring it to the abandoned house north of town. Once you have done that, we will release Princess Gloria. But if you even think about bringing help from Halcyonia, well, I am sure I don't need to tell you what would happen. Tell you later, Drongo! Princess Gloria! <sighs>
You okay? What's the matter? Uh, a horrible man and woman took me, but then an old man and another woman came and saved me, but then the man got attacked and now he's really badly hurt. We'd better go help him out. Will you show us where he is? Whoa! Are you okay? Wait a second. You're the guy from before. Ah, uh, uh, greetings, young seafarer. You're hurt. We need to get you seen to right away. <sighs> Tis not. Uh, but the princess... What happened to Gloria? Is she okay? The fiends took her. <sighs> Never mind that now. Let's get you to bed. You're right. Come on. Well, I'll be jiggled. So you're the famous Sir Sloan, eh? <laughs> Lady Emma told me all kinds of wild tales about you, my man. Oh, and how is dear Emma? Is she well? I, uh... I'm afraid she passed on six months ago or so. I see. Thou wert her apprentice. Time truly does fly. Why, I can recall when the good lady studied under another herself. But forgive me, much as I would love to spend the day in fond reminiscence. Alas, there are more pressing matters at hand. I must away and rest her highness from the clutches of those unconscionable rogues. Sorry, but you won't be resting anyone from anything in your condition. I'd be surprised if you could rest yourself out of bed. But I must! Well, how about I join you? You are kind indeed, young sir, but I cannot allow it. The rogues in question are in possession of an asterisk. Well, that's all the more reason to go deal with them, right? Besides, I owe you after you help me out back there at the beach. But good sir, I... I'm coming too. If there's an asterisk involved, I'm there with bells on. Thine aid is appreciated, but might I ask why the asterisk would interest thee so? Oh, aye. Ask away, pal. It's because of this old book, see? I found it when I was going through Lady Emma's stuff. I couldn't read a word of it when I first picked the thing up. But we've an asterisk near it, and the gobbledygook starts making sense. And I'm nothing if not nosy, so... I set out on a quest to find enough of these special wee stones to read the whole thing. Intriguing. If I can find another asterisk and help your pal into the bargain, then everyone's a winner. Great. Then we should leave right away. Though it weighs heavy on my conscience to enlist the aid of strangers, I fear I have little choice. You have my thanks. Her Highness has been taken to an abandoned building north of the town. Let us make haste! <laughs> <laughs> 